This is a short video about the Federal Aviation Administration's Noise Policy Review. It is the first in a series of which explains how we describe aviation noise. Black text signifies what is being conveyed by this video, while gray text signifies what is covered in other videos in the series. This video is the first in a series of how aviation noise is described and covers the concept of what a noise metric is, types of noise metrics, and single event metrics. A noise metric is a tool used to explain the relationship between noise exposure and people's experience. We use many different metrics to describe aviation noise. Some of these are better for single noise events, such as aircraft flyovers or maintenance runup. FAA policy is currently based on a cumulative metric, which reflects the total noise exposure over a given period of time, in this case, over an average annual day. The type of noise metric used can help describe other types of events, such as rocket launches, or the numbers of noise events associated with aircraft operations. For noise sources in motion, like flying aircraft, noise levels can change over time. For example, the sound level of a plane increases as it approaches, and then as it flies away, the sound level decreases. It can be useful to measure the maximum sound level, abbreviated as Lmax, of a particular noise event. Lmax is also used for stationary sources, like aircraft undergoing engine maintenance. While Lmax notes the moment of maximum sound level, it does not account for the duration of a sound event. The maximum sound level of a gun firing a bullet is high, but very brief. A freight train pass by can have the same maximum sound level if you are very close to it, but the sound has a long duration. The sound exposure level metric, abbreviated as SEL, represents all the acoustic energy of an individual noise event as if that event had occurred within one second. SEL captures both the level and the duration of a sound event in a single numerical quantity by squeezing all of the noise energy from an event into one second. Sound exposure level describes the noise from an aircraft in flight and provides a uniform way to make comparisons among moving noise sources having various durations. Thank you for watching this first video on how aviation noise can be described.